today we talk about the most iconic sound of the harp, glissando. Glissando comes from the French word glisse, which means to slide. And we think, yeah, any idiot can slide on the harp. Yeah, that's it. But it's actually not so easy to do a good glissando. And now I want to share with you my tips for a great glissando. The first thing that I notice is that harpists very often overlook a glissando. They think as well, ah, oh, it's easy. You just have to do like this and it sounds good. It's not really so. Very often it sounds like a mess. It has to be like a very fast scale. So you have to be consistent in the movement. One great tip is that you don't have to use this part of the finger, the flat part, because uh, sometimes the nail touches the string after you play it and it makes a nasty sound. So the trick is to turn slightly your hand. Don't place the finger like this, but turn a bit like this. Basically, you play with this side of the finger and not just right in the middle. Glissandos can cause a lot of mess for the finger. So my advice is to practice very, very lightly as much as you can. And just for the final sound or effects or performance, you actually play and practice with a full sound because using another part of the fingers, that means that we don't have calluses and that means to get huge blisters so prepare way way in advance train your finger to play a glissando it does change a lot where to play a glissando and uh, the best sound i found is exactly in the middle of the harp which means that here you have to go up and not go just down but you have to follow the nice curve of the harp especially when you have a continuous glissando this curve because it's the natural shape of the harp and we all know that the harp sounds at its fullest when you play in the middle of the strings. Usually people play glissandos way too loud so you always have to balance what comes before what comes afterwards and think which kind of glissando is there what's the purpose of the glissando in that specific passage of the piece. Now another thing which is really important there are various types of glissando there is not just one you have loads and now I'm gonna show you some sometimes it's an ending glissando so it has to be light and super smooth and especially with the thumb you really need to practice a good few times to get the right movement of the arm and remember always be super relaxed with the arm otherwise you create this kind of effect because you're tense Sometimes you have to accompany a melody of the left hand, so you really have to balance well the hands. The right one doing the glissando should be very light and the left one should be more prominent. A glissando with an effect, uh, which is like, wow, a uh, firework. And that should be played always in crescendo. Very often you have really loud glissando, especially in brass bands. The harp is very much like a color to make this wonderful room. Very often you have a glissando on the fourth beat. For many years I've been playing in a brass band orchestra and these were my finger savers. These are mandolin plex and they're actually really good because uh, you don't destroy your fingers you have to be super loud for this kind of glissando special effect i just grab it like this and then you play fantastic <laughs> The sound is not as nice that if you do it with your bare fingers because it's much more sharp and strong and very nasal but in this kind of context you want the maximum volume and the beauty of the sound comes 
second, so it's not as important. You want an effect, and the harp is the only instrument which can give this effect. I mean, yeah, the clarinet uh, glissando is super nice, but there is no comparison, come on. So to sum up, uh, practice your glissando. Don't take them for granted only because anyone can do like that. You have to do it well, you have to think about it. Why? do I have here a glissando? What's the purpose of this glissando? Let me know your experience and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao! Thank you for subscribing and like. If I want to talk about the glissando, it's better to change the string beforehand.